I was talking a bit about how to get on in your career and I think it's really important that people face the fear. I think all too often it's people themselves that hold themselves back as opposed to you know, something within the organisation or somebody else holding you back. And actually, if you just are prepared to go outside your comfort zone, you will find the rewards will come to you. There are four things, I would say, that it's crucial that you must have to be a good leader. One is talent. Not just your own talent, but a really talented team around you. If you think about it, the best performers have the best musicians backing them, the best singers supporting them, they get the best writers and composers to, to do their material for them. So anybody, no matter how good you are, you need to be supported by a great team. And anybody who thinks they can do it on their own, who thinks that actually it's all about me, is completely wrong. It is the team and the team that you assemble around you that is the key thing. The other thing you need is charisma or presence. You need to make an impact. You need to work out how you're going to make an impact. People have to want to be led by you if you're a leader. As President Eisenhower said, leadership is the ability to decide what needs to be done and then to get other people to want to do it. You also need self-belief. Not the kind of deluded self-belief that some of those people who turn up for X Factor auditions who actually can't sing a note and who think that they are going to become the best pop stars in the world and won't listen to whatever Simon or Cheryl or Louis tells them. Not that kind of deluded self-belief, but a kind of inner self-confidence. Um, and that self-belief has to be matched by self-knowledge. You need to know what you don't know. You need to know what you can't do because nobody is the finished article. And you need to make sure that those skills are supplemented by the people around you. And the fourth thing, and in lots of ways I think this is the most important thing and it's often underestimated by people, is you must be a great communicator. You have to communicate the whole time. There's no point having the best strategy in the world if nobody knows what it is. And there are a lot of leaders who shut themselves away in their office, which is almost like a fortress. I think you have to get out there. You have to communicate with people in every way possible. You have to communicate with your workforce, with your clients, with your customers, with all the different stakeholders in your business. Um, and, you know, repetition, repeating the message, again, is, is very, very important. Um, Greg Dyke was one of the director generals I worked for at the BBC, and he used to say, you know, as a leader, you're just getting bored with a message when the people in the organization are starting to pick it up. And I think that's very true. You, you can't um, say things often enough.